Women Up Radio, designed to facilitate women's empowerment, improve your career, develop your talents, incorporate your passions, achieve fulfillment and success. Hello, this is Anna Letitia Cook of Women Up Radio, supporting Empower Women and the Girls on the Road in their quest to support women entrepreneurs around the world. Fernanda and Tassiana are visiting 24 countries, interviewing women and researching the conditions, business ecosystems, challenges and advantages that exist in each country. Today, we're visiting Portugal. Portugal is a country I really want to visit, so I'm totally jealous. Hi, <laughs> Fernanda and Tassi. How are you today? Hi, Anna. Very good. And you? Yeah, great. Um, Great, thanks. I'm sure you've got much nicer weather than I have today, though. Oh, but yes. yes. For you. <laughs> Very sunny day here. A lucky thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me, what's the general vision of business and women in business, and particularly women entrepreneurs in Portugal? Well, you know, then uh, Portugal has been a very nice surprise for us. Uh, well, first, let's go back briefly to 2008 when a huge financial crisis hit the world, particularly uh, Europe and particularly uh, Portugal is, is Spain. Mm -hmm. And then entrepreneurship at that moment became, you know, the way out or maybe the only way out for so many people in the country. That's one, one fact. But, you know, they use that, that really needy time of, of their lives to, to change things and to see entrepreneurship with different eyes. Yeah. That's when the government really decided to invest in, in entrepreneurship as a, as, a, as, as a whole. And, of course, women entrepreneurship, they are huge. They still have a lot to go, of course, but they are going, you know, trying to catch up with everything that's going on. And today, Portugal... Uh, it's growing. The entrepreneurial scene in Portugal is growing double the average in Europe. So right now, Portugal is one of the hottest countries to become an entrepreneur or, you know, come to, from other countries it really to invest here. So it's been an amazing, very vibrant uh, moment for them right now. It sounds really positive. I know there's, <clears throat> sorry, there's something else that I heard about Portugal. Um, because I'm in France at the moment, Apparently, if French people want to retire to Portugal, and I don't know whether it affects the other countries in Europe as well, but if they retire to Portugal, they don't have to pay tax on their pension, which wow. I think shows um, a country that is really dynamic about boosting the economy, boosting the future, and really opening up to better ideas, more trade, um, and more opportunities. So it, that really matches with what you're saying. It sounds excellent. Yeah, and you know what? For example, uh, people from, uh, retirees from Brazil, for example, also are coming in flocks to Portugal to take advantage because you're absolutely right. They want to you know to keep the, comment, the, the economy very vibrant, yeah. growing, of course, and bringing people with you know, a, a, a big power spending. It's one of the ways to do that. Yes. Yeah. Right. They will invest here. They will spend their money here. So yes, the government has been so active in you know really trying to to make the economy grow through entrepreneurship. You know, making sure they can attract different uh, people from other countries yes. to be here and keep the country growing. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's fascinating. Well, I've been thinking. I mean, this is nothing to do with your subject, but you know that I'm um, based in the UK, basically. But I've been thinking about having like a, a small base in the UK, um, but also having one in Portugal, because I've had a, quite a few business people who've been talking about Portugal and the opportunities there. And to me, it seems like one of the not emerging market because it's a, a traditional Western European country, but it seems to offer so many opportunities that I'm really interested in maybe expanding my business to have like two bases, a UK base, a Portuguese base, so I can go between the two, because I think that would offer so many more opportunities. But that's vaguely linked to entrepreneurship, but I'm getting definitely off track. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, 
thing. That sounds like a, a really good plan. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, what does it mean to be a woman entrepreneur in Portugal? Uh, well, I think being a woman here in entrepreneur, <laughs> it's uh, like in many other places. They do face a lot of challenges as, you know, social pressures, you know, still have to uh, work their way up. Um, one, one of the entrepreneurs that we interviewed was very curious on, on her uh, quotation because she said that she kind of had like her independence uh, shout because like there's all this story uh, with Brazil, right? When Brazil yes. became independent from Portugal, the king said, you know, the prince yeah, was there and, yeah. then, and, and said, uh, you know, we are free and the, the independence uh, yeah. shot. And she said that now she's just, she sees that the women here are doing the same. They're kind of like becoming more independent, yeah. more independent uh, comparing to what society, what men expect from them. Mm -hmm. They're going after opportunities. They are, they are building their business. They are creating things, not only, you know, in traditional areas, but also in other areas, like uh, if you go to the north of the country, it's more like industrial and have like a tech hub in, in, in Braga, but also in the south, it's more like service, tourists. In, in, and we can see from the prime minister, from the president of Portugal, they're really investing in promoting a very vibrant eco ecosystem here. So yeah. women and men both can very take advantage out of it. Yeah. And they say like all the women that we interview, they're very confident and very brave and they say like they're in the good track and want to you know more women to become entrepreneur because more women will means also a better network for them yeah and it's so cool because we you know we met women who are uh, running wineries yeah. so that's so cool because it's not a, a, a field in so many countries that you, you do not see uh, many women you know as founders of wineries and leading and so it, it's really interesting and, but on the, on the other hand, we heard something really interesting also, more to, the, to what Fernando was saying about the challenges that they still face. And one entrepreneur said to us, you know what, here men, they still go up using the, the, the escalators. Us women, we use the wooded chairs, the wooded stairs. Yeah. So it, it's, it's harder. It, it takes much more effort for us to go up, which is pretty, it's been like that pretty much every single country that we've been so far. Yes. But the thing is, we see the change. We definitely see the change. I think everything that we mentioned before about how the government and how the, the ecosystem is, is changing, you know, they're really pushing, okay, we are here, uh, we are doing great stuff, we want to create businesses, we are creating business, and do not come with us with the whole talk about, you know, to be an entrepreneur, you have to have a tech company. Yeah. They, they're saying that very clearly because yeah. it, it sounds like, a, you know, you, we're living under a di dictatorship of tech. Yeah. Being an entrepreneur, it doesn't mean necessarily that you have to have a, a tech startup. It can yeah. be pretty much everything. Yeah. And women here are saying that pretty loudly, which I think it's awesome because I think many women might fear, you know, to become an entrepreneur because they really believe that they should have some tech Amazing idea, very innovative, very disruptive to become an entrepreneur. And it's not like that. It shouldn't be like that. Yes, yeah. Oh, that sounds great. So you mentioned the business ecosystem. What are the main factors in the business ecosystem in Portugal? Um, I believe here that they are creating also a lot of... Uh, they, 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 they start with an initiative called Startup uh, Lisbon and then Startup Portugal. So um, to bring more uh, entrepreneurs from abroad to, to, to Lisbon as well, to enhance the, the, you know, the, the home ecosystem. So they're like uh, the universities, a lot of universities also providing like workshops, you know, hackathons and programs to, to, to be able to provide information to these uh, young people who want to become entrepreneurs, like starting out right out of college. Not, not when you are leading life, because I think it's a very important thing to do. Uh, usually you only think, uh, you used to think about entrepreneurship when you had an idea like in the, your career or you were out of jobs, but like putting this seed on the minds of young people that they can go for a job as well, but also start their own companies is like fundamental. And I think the government here in Portugal, they are thinking about that, like the bringing more entrepreneurs, innovators in their own population, yeah. Like they are, they are hosting a major event called Web Summit, 
uh, and they are like making sure that Portugal's, Portugal's in this, is in the center of this uh, ecosystem in Europe as well, like to be a hub, not only for their, for their country, but also for, for, for the Europe as well. Yeah. Now, I know I had clients um, from really big tech companies who were actually going to the Web Summit because I know you were there recently um, <clears throat> and I had clients that were going there from all over Europe. And I think that was a, another sign at Portugal really coming out of the crisis with a totally different attitude. Um, and they've from what I can see obviously I'm not there so I may be wrong so don't hesitate to tell me if I'm wrong but they seem to have come out of the crisis with a really dynamic innovative idea on business um, and they've really shaken up their traditional ideas about it and they're offering so many more opportunities in all aspects of business yes because they're providing like um uh, people who want to start their business with some kind of like uh, tax breakers or like opportunities for foreigners to come and, and invest in Portugal. Uh, we heard like the prime minister and, the, and the, also the president of Portugal in this latest edition of Web Summit. Mm -hmm. And they said like Portugal used to be, of course, 500 years ago, like the, you know, the capital of the world. Yes. One of the major, uh, um, you know, big countries with like uh, all the expeditions. Yes. And they said that they wanted to regain this area, you know, like to, to come again as a very important player yeah. in the world. Yeah. And they're making all the effort to do that. That sounds great. So any particular challenges or advantages for the women there? Well, I think, I think the challenges, they are pretty much the same still, as we mentioned, Anna. Yeah. So, you know, having to prove themselves much more... Uh, stronger than male entrepreneurs and so on and so yeah. forth. Everything that we've been hearing, of course. Yeah. But the good things, they are taking advantage of this ecosystem, of all the changes that have been happening in the country. And, and the current you know, uh, environment, the current feeling is very positive also towards women as entrepreneurs. So, and we saw that. You know, they're really taking advantage, stepping up, uh, you know, putting themselves out there, and there are so many incubators, you know, uh, tech centers here and entrepreneurship uh, development centers. So it is definitely a, a booming country in terms of entrepreneurship. And we saw a lot of women taking advantage of that. But knowing that still yeah. there are uh, cultural values and cultural norms, let's put it that way, they, they still have to face and to change the, the situation as a whole. Okay. And so what soft and hard skills have they in common or have they developed? Hmm. Um, I think, of course, soft skills, as we have been hearing, and that's a uh, curious thing. Remember that we mentioned, like, in the previous episodes, that many countries that we go, we kind of hear a lot of similar uh, comments, right? Yeah. So soft skills, definitely, like, resilience. Yeah. They really have to... Um, to make their way up and of course Portugal has a very uh, small market it can be like the, the domestic market but of course they have the, the entire Europe to to try to do business as well mm -hmm. but like going from uh, a small country to build their business behind, you know like uh, beyond Portugal um, so I have a lot of uh, resilience on that and I think hard skills just like uh, being uh, able to adapt whatever idea they have to the current market, uh, mm -hmm. like something really specific. It's just like they, they say that they have the idea and then they go, and depending like what kind of business you are in, the process of, you know, thinking about your business, your how you're going to make money out of this, and then, you know, go through the process and, and structure your business. So like basically hard skills is like being able to, get all this business background into your business if you're not a, a business person at the beginning. Yeah. Okay. And can you tell us um, a key motivational difference in Portugal which could be helpful to other women entrepreneurs around the world? Well, I think that the, the environment of the country right now is very, very positive. Wherever we go, you know, it, it doesn't matter if you're... <laughs> 
if you're an entrepreneur or not, people are very excited about the, the moment that the country uh, is going through. And certainly for those who want to open their business or already have their businesses, they, are feel, they feel much more confident. I think this is, a, this is huge when you're you know, trying to build a business, you know, to feel confident about the environment and in yourself, of course, but also that, you know, that the, the environment at that specific moment is working on your favor. And I think the, the Portuguese, uh, they certainly have that right now. I think no pun intended, they 